Okay, so it is horrible weather today. And uh, it's kind of double depressing because uh, the prices of gas are, as usual, really horrible. And come to think of it, I, uh, I probably spend several hundred dollars a month uh, when I'm here working uh, in gas, just going back and forth to the building, going for supplies, making runs, going out for lunch, doing all that stuff. Uh, I can't help but think how nice it would be to have that money and put it towards something like a dumpster. So, uh, yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I think, going to the gas station with my grandpa and gas was like, like a little over a dollar a gallon. Or am I mistaken? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Was gas that cheap? How much was it when, when you were young? Uh, but that brings me uh, to the subject for today's video. So let's go to the uh, building and uh, I have some news for you guys. Okay, so here, uh, some actual announcements today and uh, I got a bunch of stuff right here that all came in the mail and uh, yeah so a lot of you guys have asked me or mentioned like different companies that could help me if I get like get them to sponsor my renovation and uh, while I always thought that was like an amazing idea because good lord would it be awesome to get a company that made windows to sponsor me here <laughs> So, uh, yeah, not going to happen anytime soon. But I've had a bunch of companies uh, reach out to me and ask me to sponsor their products. It's like a, you know, I'm not doing one of those channels that's going for millions of subscribers and uh, trying to get rich on that. Just posting videos about what I'm doing. And uh, fortunately, I've been lucky enough to have you guys uh, follow me on the journey and uh, give me lots of helpful information and tips and just I, it's my favorite uh, my favorite part about the whole thing uh regardless lots of companies have been sending me emails about uh what i show my product on the channel and uh, they send me this free thing and i guess that's the first stage when you're growing a youtube channel is those kinds of sponsorships they don't pay you any money but they're, they say hey well, we'll send you our product and uh I haven't accepted any of them. I, I've had probably 30 or 40 different offers. And uh, most of the time, the minute I open the email, I'm like, they don't even watch this channel. They have no idea who I am, what this channel is, uh, who you guys are. And so I just uh, totally ignore it. Um, that being said, once you get a, like a sponsorship, that's kind of a hallmark moment for your channel. Uh, it's like a sign of success that things are going in the right direction. Uh, but I just didn't feel like anything was like really a good fit. Uh, recently, I had a couple companies reach out to me with products that, well, darn it, those could be actually pretty useful. And uh, not only would they be useful to me, I can make videos about them that are like cool to watch, informative. And uh, yeah, so uh, I decided that why not? I am kicking, scratching, uh, digging, doing anything I can uh, to be a success in this whole, you know, adventure here in my life. And it would be silly for me not to accept a free product that's going to be super helpful uh, in the renovation. So I picked out a few items that I thought would be uh, really cool. And uh, one company in particular was, was really interesting because uh, they knew what the channel was about because they had saw the, uh, they'd seen the video where I made this uh, tool cart right here. And uh, they'd even read the comments because so many people had mentioned that, hey, you need to get a bike. You need to get a bike where you can drive around and uh, you know put your tool bag on it and uh, you can zip across uh, 30,000 square feet real quick on a bike. And then if you forget something, you're gonna get back and get your tool. It won't take you 10 minutes to walk back. And uh, I had that comment several times and uh, this company reached out and said, hey, we saw your comments and we actually have a bike that might be very helpful for you. So uh, I thought about it and I thought, why not? Let's do it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is show you a little bit about the bike and show you how I'm gonna use it because it's gonna be very helpful for me. Uh, 
This one section of this building is 400 feet long. So I've mentioned that before. Uh, so to walk from one side to the other is about two and a half minutes, three minutes. So if I forget my hammer, uh, kiss 15 minutes goodbye going and uh, getting it. So uh, yeah, so let's check out this uh, item. Uh, the other reason that I decided that this would be a great product for me to start with is that, like I said at the beginning of the video, gas is so expensive. Gas is so expensive. And uh, if I could take that bike and ride it every day to the factory, on the days when I don't have to use my trailer to haul brush or whatever, uh, I could save that money and get a dumpster with it, or at least half a dumpster at the end of the month. So uh, it's like a win, win, win. So uh, they sent me this product. At first I thought, Let's see if they really send it. Uh, who's gonna send me something that valuable? Uh, <laughs> but they sent it, it arrived in the mail and I was super shocked. So I was actually in Poland at the time. My brother signed for it and uh, it was waiting. And my brother said, you had something waiting for you in, your, in the room where I'm staying at his place. And to be honest, I'd kind of forgotten about it a little bit and I walked out, walked into the room and dang, that thing is gigantic. So. Uh, let me let me show it to you. It actually came in four boxes. I think this box is the uh, the actual bicycle, uh, and then uh, these are some like baskets and stuff where I can mount my tool uh, bags and tool belt and that kind of thing on them. So my dad is 19 years older than me, which makes him. <coughs> many years old uh, he might be watching this video so I don't want to get myself in trouble uh, I know that uh, the majority of my uh, the people that watch the channel here and help me out in the comment sections they're all like of retirement age so not everybody but quite a few of them so uh, he's always interested in getting a golf cart he recently got a golf cart that he can drive around town in and uh, he's always been interested in electric bikes too there's something about it that have an appeal for him and uh, I mentioned that uh, this came and he's like can I have it can I have it and I said no dad uh, this is gonna be my tool transport for doing the renovation so uh, yeah anyway let's uh, let's open it up and see what we've got inside okay so the bike uh, is actually TST let me turn that over so I can get their brand name right they said if anybody sees this video and uh, buys one that they'll send me a few dollars for my dumpster fund so <laughs> i'll put some information down below if this is something you might be interested in uh it's like christmas oh, it's like, it's like christmas <laughs> all right oh, that'd be pretty awesome if i could do that twice Look at the thickness of those tires. Uh, I said, uh, when they when I emailed with them, I said, uh, I don't know if you realize what a industrial place this is, so you better send me your most sturdy, heavy duty one, and looks like that's what they did, so. <laughs> Cool. Look at that guy. Good grief. All right. So I just noticed that uh, it's got keys here and uh, it never occurred to me. Yeah, it just kind of hit me as a surprise. I wasn't, I should have known, but I guess you need keys for an electric bike. And if you've got keys to a bicycle, that means you really made it. So <laughs> big time. Got my scissors that are covered with roofing tar. Actually, I wasn't expecting such a nice thing. They did a heck of a job uh, packing it. That's some pretty dense foam. Uh, yeah, black's my color. Okay, so my first impression pulling it out of the box is that this bike is super heavy. Uh, 
a large part of that I bet is the fact that it has a battery. Uh, the battery is in here. And uh, I don't know if it's steel frame or aluminum, but uh, it feels feels super substantial. And uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so one nice thing is that it doesn't require a whole lot of assembly. Uh, it looks like I just have to take that the wheel, put it on the forks, lift the handlebars up, open this guy and put it in. And then they've got the pedals and the charger and all of that stuff. So it comes packed pretty nice. So, so far I like what I see. Uh, I was, I kind of had in mind like the kind of bike you'd get at Walmart or whatever. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit better than that. And uh, it's got some really nice fit and finish to it. So, cool. All right, let me get it together. And I definitely wasn't expecting that. The first product I think I've ever seen that comes with three full-on crescent wrenches, so. <laughs> uh, they don't look like they're super hard metal or anything, but, because uh, I, I I saw that I needed an Allen wrench, I thought, oh man, I'm gonna have to get an Allen wrench, and then, voila, they have provided everything you need, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so <clears throat> I just put this tire on, and uh, look how fat those tires are. Uh, and I wasn't sure how to do it. And then uh, I think the important thing is not to overthink it. Uh, just don't overthink it, Chris. Just stop. <laughs> uh, you basically just sit it in the fork and uh, make sure that there's enough. Uh, this disc just slide right in there. I mean, you can't go wrong. You just put it in there and it's all in position. And then you just have to make sure that uh, this bolt that runs through there has enough slack that you can operate this uh, clamp down lever. So, because if, if you uh, spin over here too tight, then you, you're not able to close this. But if you leave some slack in there, then this pops down. And uh, you can take that wheel on and off in like, I don't know, five seconds, so. Mm, so I have this like lifelong commitment uh, to my way of being. I have a really bad habit of not reading instructions. So <laughs> uh, I'm looking down here and I'm seeing some extra parts because the bike looks pretty complete already. But uh, we've got some screws. Oh, it's a kickstand. Yeah, definitely want that. Okay, so let me see how to connect this kickstand. I think we're in business already. Okay, so got the uh, kickstand on and uh, the only thing that took me a little bit longer than I thought was I was trying to put it on the outside, but if you get one of these, just stick it on the inside, and uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. The cool thing is that, uh, like I said, you just uh, put that uh, bolt in those fork receivers there, and then clamp that lever down, and the, uh, the brakes work. You don't have to do any brake bleeding or anything else, so uh, you just snap it in, push the lever down, and the bike operates. This is a regular bicycle. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so nothing to do now but charge it up. So I'm gonna take it in the other room and hook up the uh, charger, and I'm gonna do the only manual reading uh, in this whole process, which is just how to charge it and for how long, because I don't wanna mess it up. So uh, as it turns out, this bike, uh, has, I mean, the process of putting it together has allowed me not to do any personal growth, <laughs> which I always resist. Uh, I didn't have to check the manual, so uh, yeah, never want to check manuals. All right, uh, let me get it charged, and uh, then we're going to move on to the second part, which is uh, personalizing it and doing something to it that, uh, you know, is kind of the reason why uh why i got the thing and is consistent with what we do here on the channel and you know for my purposes so uh okay okay so now that i've got it all charged up or at least partially charged uh <clears throat> now comes the part where i customize this to make it a good fit and a good tool for me here so uh yeah so what they did was they sent me several accessories so it was like the full package i got the full package uh but I, I i had a discussion with them and i said why i needed these to make it 
uh, make sense for the project here at the building. So uh, let's, uh, let's open these up and see what we got. The weird thing is that it came in four different packages, the big one and then these three smaller ones, which I guess they've got it all ironed out, but it doesn't seem like that would be the most uh, economic way to do it. Um, but maybe they're warehoused in different places or something like that, because they are accessories. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Number one. Tool rack number one, all right. Uh, and it's awesome that they sent me black, it matches. So uh, I'm gonna be styling with my tools here. So. Well, cool thing is it's super easy. It's ready to receive them. You just uh, back those screws out, put that on there and put the screws back on. So uh, uh, I really like easy because I don't like thinking too much, so. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Uh, I'd like to say that it only took me three seconds, but this thing was pretty awkward. You gotta get the holes all lined up and manipulate a tiny little Allen wrench. So uh, a little patience does come in helpful, that's for sure. There we go. Tool rack number two. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Okay, looks pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> that's the last of the stuff that came in the mail that I'm going to put on for the moment. Uh, it also came uh, with these fenders that are still actually wrapped, but I kind of like that exposed tire look. And uh, if uh, you're going down to the fishing hole and going down the country paths, uh, fenders might be super useful. But for me, just riding around here, um, yeah, not super important. So I'm going to leave those off and I'm going to go get my tool bags. Okay. So there we have it. Um, <clears throat> just picked up a couple, uh, bungee cords. I think it was like $2 for two of them at uh, Walmart. And, uh, my uh, imagination before I did this was, uh, this one kind of in line with the back seat and then one sitting sideways up front, but it would interfere with the handlebars as it turns out. So I just uh, strapped them on there like, uh, like saddlebags. And I think uh, if this gets super heavy, which I don't think it will, it may stretch those, those uh, bungees out a little bit. I'll just put some uh, industrial zip ties on there as well. And uh, I am good to go. So I can drive all around the uh, the building on battery power with my tools and save tons of time. Uh, beyond that, I'm gonna save lots of gas money because I'll just ride that here every day. And uh, I will apply that money to something else around here. Windows, probably. Dumpsters, plumbing, electric, elevator, roof. Okay, enough, enough. I'm getting myself depressed. So, okay, yeah, we got the tools on, ready to rip around the building. And I uh, just wanted to give you a quick little tour of the bike. Here's a little computer that comes on. It's got a speedometer and an odometer on it, little power button there, so it's digital. And uh, I was reading the manual and it says that it is Bluetooth enabled. So, not sure what that's for, probably, uh, Probably that's for an app to uh, keep record of uh, the miles that you're traveling and uh, that kind of thing. Some kind of app and it connects through Bluetooth. So yeah, super excited about this. So uh, it took me a minute to figure out, but you uh, put that key in the right position and pull the release and the battery actually comes out. Um, I remember the first little electric bike my dad had years ago and uh, it took about four hours to charge which is what the manual says this takes. 
but on that one, if you left it like six hours, it would fry the battery. So you had to be right on top of it. Um, I think they've pretty much got that stuff ironed out these days. But uh, the good thing is uh, all batteries have a certain shelf life. I'm not sure what the shelf life of this guy is, but uh, because it comes out, you're, you're not basically stuck with a piece of trash once the battery's dead. You can uh, get a new battery. So yeah, that's pretty pretty nice feature. Okay, so this thing was pretty darn surprising. Uh, took me a while to figure out how to get it going. I guess you have to set the uh, speed or the, um, I don't know, it's like a zero to five. And it was on zero and I was like, I can't get this thing going. Looked at the manual. Uh, <laughs> this thing goes fast enough that you need glasses. You know how like on a motorcycle, if you ride too fast without glasses, it's hard to open your eyes. It does that. Uh, another thing is, um, which is pretty cool. It's so powerful. It will pop a wheelie. Uh, so <laughs> if I lean back a little bit, uh, on that, that front wheel is coming up for sure. So, uh, but you can, uh, lower the, uh, lower down to like a one or two if you're not a daredevil. So let me see, uh, it's got a lot of torque. I mean, more than I expected. Okay, let's see what, let's see how this goes. I gotta change the gear or the power because it's a little bit too much. Whoa. All right. I'm trying to do this one handed with a uh, phone at my age, it's probably not a good idea. Now, So now, when I forget my hammer on the other side of the building, uh, it's going to save me buco time. So, uh, and to be honest, this thing's pretty fun. It is pretty fun. So, and I'm going to go outside and uh, have some fun. I haven't done that in a while. So, all right. It's like a motorbike. I think this thing is built for people with common sense. Uh, <laughs> not designed for people like me. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.